Thanks for stopping by our website, your home for electrical news and information, electrictv.net. I'm Tom Green. The Code of Excellence program, instituted by the IBEW and endorsed by their NECA contractors, is beginning to gain traction around the country. A quick refresher. It's a common sense approach to doing things the right way on the job, a guarantee that your labor force will not only live up to their end of the bargain, but do the little things to ensure their work is on par with what you expect. We've shown you how the code can work for higher education. We've shown you how it can be put into play for professional sports teams. And today, how it's a must have in industrial settings. So says one of our country's leading energy companies. From West Virginia, here's Electric TV's Dominic Geritano. AEP is one of the biggest electrical providers in the U.S. and operates in 11 states. Their John Amos power plant is currently undergoing a billion dollar project done under the Code of Excellence, a program that outlines expectations during a project for NECA contractors and their IBEW labor force. The John Amos plant is a 2,900 megawatt power facility, three units, one 1,300 megawatt unit and two 800 megawatt units and it's roughly 35 years old and it's been modified multiple times over the past several years and in fact we're finishing up a billion dollar project here at John Amos right now. That project, the last of three FGD scrubbers. Roughly 20 percent of the work hours on the project are IBEW hours so they're key and crucial to the success of this project. Several years ago I was involved with President Ed Hill in a discussion and he was initiating the code of excellence for the IBEW and he had asked me as an owner what my opinion might be and I told him that I thought the values that he espoused in that conversation were those that we as owners expected and that if we weren't getting those we needed to do something about that. Mr. Hill put a program together and has brought it forth to us to use and we see tremendous benefits by using this program to involve the IBEW and the IBEW members in line with contractors and us as owners needs to be successful on these projects. The Code of Excellence is creating a common set of expectations between owners, contractors, and labor. And setting these expectations up front is a common sense approach that just works. AEP has several expectations for every project that they operate. One is that the job be safe and productive. But on time, within budget, and, and with a lot of respect to the environment. And this program, the Code of Excellence, it espouses those same things. It tells us that every member of the IBEW that comes to our job site would have those traits and that they would understand the needs of the owner, the ultimate customer, and that they would come to that job site trying to make the owner successful. The set of challenges on an industrial side is different than any other type of construction and plays perfectly to what the code is trying to accomplish. An industrial site, there, there's a lot of coordination because there are so many activities, diverse activities. And each one of the, let's say, eight components of one of these large scrubber projects might be equivalent to a large hospital project. We'll pull miles and miles of cable on this project not hundreds of feet, we'll pull miles of cable. We'll run miles of conduit. We'll make thousands of terminations on this project. It's very extensive. And we'll have skilled electricians that have done it before. They've built this plant. They've maintained this plant for the past 35 years. When they come to the job site, they know what they're doing. And that's why we have them back. There are other options, but the, the IBEW brings to us value for a dollar and when we have the cooperation that we would get through the Code of Excellence program, that value is accentuated and it's more value for us as an owner. In many ways, the IBEW has led to change in the labor industry. President Hill's leadership and his indoctrination execution of the Code of Excellence has been beneficial for the, I will call it the evolution of the IBEW, and as a result, I look at the way the IBEW was 15 years ago and I look at the IBEW today, I see a better product and one that's more viable for us as an owner. NECA's role is expanded under the Code of Excellence. Under the Code, as always, NECA contractors are looking out for the health of an overall project because when an owner makes money on their project, a NECA contractor does as well. NECA is the glue that, that binds the contractors 
the union and ultimately the owners together. And they arrange and make sure that we have reasonable negotiations and that we don't have labor disruptions. The code of excellence is a new way of doing business. What does it mean for an owner? And what can they take away from using it on one of their sites? I can't think of any reason why an owner wouldn't want to use the code of excellence. In fact, we're going to demand that it be used on our projects in the future because we see so much potential in using the code of excellence on our projects. For Electric TV, I'm Dominic Geritano.